So Cryptic Studios have made a bunch of new changes to this mythic gear. I recently posted a video going over all this gear. I even linked a document which you could go and download and just view all of the different gear pieces and compare them against ones we have that are existing and find out which gear pieces you will need then to grind out to replace gear that you may already have. Best in slot gear this is. And yes, this document is just here and I have recently updated it with the changes to many of these gear pieces and we'll go through that in another document just here. For example, the Serene Hood of the Dragon Hunter was updated to give critical strike instead of outgoing healing so it's more viable for dps to be using and yes as we can see here it gives up to 10 percent critical strike and is simply going to replace those gristral horns that you may have had here instead so let's quickly go through the rest of these changes with that we have of course got the nerf to the rib cage which has affected the future armor pieces basically all of them will only add up to a maximum of 15 percent stats instead of having the 25 percent and i've adjusted that again in my document we're getting 7.5 percent accuracy and combat advantage with the mighty grass and with the tactful leathers we're getting that in crit strike and crit severity 15 percent total stats instead of 25 percent not particularly happy about the change i don't see the real need and it's just causing us to change our builds a whole lot more otherwise we can see there we have this new serene robes of the dragon hunter which i didn't have mentioned in my previous document and now i do have it added in at the end here and the reason is because now it will give up to a total of 12 percent critical strike whenever you're in combat you'll gain stacks of critical strike. This used to add up to only a total of 6%. Now we'll obtain for every five seconds you're in combat, 1% critical strike to a maximum of 12%. So after a minute in combat, you have that full stacks of critical strike that's pretty great and it makes it a very reliable gear piece to be using for let's say burst damage let's say you don't have enough time to get the stacks of your rib cages like your tactful leathers or your mighty kuras you see you'll need to do damage for a certain amount of your maximum hp and then gain those stacks up to five of them and this new armor piece will essentially just give you permanently that amount 12 percent of your critical strike and Many people will be able to fit that in their build, except for people who have crit as their forte, but you will miss 3% stats compared to, again, those gear pieces with the adding of 7.5% to those two stats, but they take a lot more effort to maintain. On top of that, we have a change to the sharp jacket of the Dragon Hunter. It went from giving 1.5% critical severity and decreasing your awareness by 2% for 5 seconds, maximum 5 stacks, to essentially whenever you deal damage, gives you a stack of 3% crit severity instead of 1.5 and will reduce your deflect severity instead. All around, very good change. And what this does, it makes it so that you get a total of 15% critical severity and you will lose minus 7.5% deflect severity. However, many classes won't be able to really fit this armor piece into their build, at least on DPS side. As healers, you could probably fit this in pretty neatly, and it's not hard to maintain at all. You just have to deal damage to an enemy, and that's it. Your stacks last only five seconds though, so that could be questionable. Moving on to our arm pieces, we got a change to the sharp reachers. We've gone from giving you 5% power and critical avoidance when you're 50 feet or further away to whenever you're 25 feet or further away. They give you 6% power. Really like the change there. We'll make it a lot more viable for ranged DPS because 25 feet, albeit, is pretty tiny. And you could then also use this on healers as well. But I'm mainly going over this for DPS because I've made that document already for DPS. I haven't made it for healers and tanks yet, and I have every intention of doing it, and I will. But this is then an update for that DPS one because things have changed a little bit. We have the tactful gloves going from this recharge speed effect. Essentially, it's the exact same, but the cooldown has changed from 30 seconds to 15 seconds. I don't think it should have a cooldown. This thing only lasts 10 seconds, and then you have a 5% window where you don't get this recharge speed. And I guess for supports, recharge speed is a bit more viable. For DPS, not so much unless you really have long cooldowns, but even then, encounter powers don't add up to a lot of our damage, except maybe in burst phases. Then we go to our rings, and we got some really good updates here. 
The Soothsayers has gone from 6% max to 7% max. Definitely makes it more competitive with your Red Eyes Glare here and your Mighty's Breaker Ring of Elegance. We can see that here as well. It's gone from 5% damage against dragons to 10% damage against dragons. Excellent decision. It means we will definitely be using that ring to go against dragons. And then, of course, it is in a situational ring, so it doesn't make it overpowered versus all other rings. You will still want to switch it out when you're not fighting dragons. You will want to have a separate ring. It's like Crown of Keldegon. You would run around with the undead ring here instead of the red eyes glare because that would give you that 10% extra damage. And we'll see what happens with the band of air. We may very well be switching that out to something else and then just running with, for example, both of these rings, the Soothsayers and the Mighty Breakers, or switching your red eyes glare or even having both of these and getting a whole chunk of stats there again we'll have to see but just keep in mind you'll have to have your hp full to gain that full seven percent and overall that's all of the changes to the mythic gear for the dps side you can again download this document just keep in mind of the arrow this is all the old side this is what it was and it's been changed to the right side here this is what it now is pretty heavy nerf to your mighty kuras and then your tactful leathers just due to those stacks giving a whole one percent less meaning you only get a total of 15 percent but they've done that to the rib cage as well so it is what it is and we'll we'll work with it i guess we will be changing our builds a bit anyway coming with module 23 so there's that there's new gear people will make adjustments to their builds but it isn't going to be so simple that you just go and replace the ribcage with the tack for leathers and that's it pretty much gg and you don't have to make any adjustments now we're losing out on five percent critical strike and critical severity if we were to use the tactfuls or the rib cage and so you're going to have to rejig some things with your build and i've gone ahead and done that on the previous server and i will make a build very soon for my rogue for my paladin and for bard as well just those are the general three classes that i play at the moment don't really play anything else and i'll go through builds on those for module 23 so you know what to expect what you will want to be working towards again just keep in mind there are my builds and yeah things can change you may have different opinions and overall it can be a bit more expensive to change from something you have to something i'm using and don't be worried to just use what you have and work with that it's very well possible so hopefully it's been somewhat insightful to you guys as the updates and changes to the module 23 gear for dps document link down below if you want to download that and look through it yourself there will be a link to the updated document where i go through all of the different gear pieces comparing what we have in the game right now to what we will be able to obtain new and recommending then which pieces you should be taking so finally i'd like to give a special thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going if i present this well consider leaving the video a like if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.